What is going on YouTube? So today I'm actually filming a vlog on my new phone. So this is the Note 22 Ultra. Just came out this past Friday and we went ahead and upgraded because we've been dealing with the S10 or well, the Note 10 for about two years now and we just paid them off. So we went ahead and upgraded. So I'm hoping that the quality is a lot better now so uh let me know in the comments what you think but if you didn't know or you were under a rock most of my video comes from my phone now i don't use the gopro but for anything but like mostly in car stuff and even then a lot of times i just i got a mount for my phone so i'll just put that up on the sunroof and stuff so yeah um let me know in the comments if this looks any better to you guys or not i don't know yet but i guess i'll find out when i'm editing but uh yeah, what I'm gonna try to do today is dive into this uh, dolly here. And as you can see, I have a light kit that my brother and my folks gave me for taking the truck. I um, had to tow the F-150 when I first got the dolly and they had this trailer light kit that they never used. It was brand new and um, they just gave it to me to help me out. So yeah, it's got the two uh, lights for the back. It's also got some amber lights that goes up front here. So yeah, I don't know if I'll mount the ambers just yet. I definitely want to mount them. So I don't know, I'm gonna see how bad this is gonna be. It looks like it's just one boat hole on the back. So I may go ahead and try to mount those because I definitely want to run the amber lights so that when I'm pulling it, I can see those lit up and I'll know where the dolly is even at night. I think that'll be a big help when when I'm trailing and stuff, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this. I also got a brand new solar iron too, so gonna be breaking that in real good with this project, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. guys so i've got everything pretty much uh wired up and finalized now all that's left to do is test it out and it is raining outside right now but i'm gonna attempt to get the truck down here to uh 
back it up to the shop and see if I can hook up and test everything, make sure everything works. Once I know that everything works properly, I'm gonna spray those bolts that I sanded to uh, get the connections, you know, like, cause this kit, the, the tail lights and stuff ground by the bolts. So once I know everything works, I'm gonna get those a coat of paint that way it'll be sealed, but it'll still have a connection. And then um, put the wheels back on and this thing should be good to go. Like finally 100%. Now I was looking, this tire is brand freaking new. This tire has a lot of life in it, but it is kind of dry rotted. So I think I'm gonna end up go ahead and purchasing a new tire for this one. Um, pretty soon, that way, whenever the summer comes around, if it's warm or something, I don't have to worry about this tire blowing out. I think these things are about 40 bucks at, um, at Tractor Supply. I may look online and see if I can get them for any cheaper, but yeah, they're not that expensive and I don't want this thing blowing out or anything when I'm driving with it. So I'd rather go ahead and get it. But this tire is good. Uh, plenty of life, no dry rot. So, but that one has some cracks in it and I don't want to risk anything with it. So I'm gonna probably just get one, but <laughs> show you what I'm talking about. So you see, this tire is pretty cracked up. Even though it's got a lot of tread left, it's pretty cracked. Um, and again, these things aren't that expensive. I wanna say you can actually get the entire rim and everything for a pretty good price. But if not, I'll just get the tire and just have someone throw it on the rim for me, no big deal. because I do enjoy this car so we are going to be doing a lot more to it here sometime in the future I can't say exactly when but um, I do got plans bigger plans for this car all right so everything seems to be working uh, according to plan So everything works, but as you can see, I got the pilot down here because for some reason, I think it's just corroded real bad, but the one that's on my truck just would not light it up. And I, I knew I just, I knew I didn't have anything wrong on this part because I did everything myself. So I knew everything was right. It's just my truck uh, plug on the bottom is like so corroded. So. The kit actually came with this brand new plug, so sometime I guess when I got the uh, extra time, I try to get that wired in, and um, we should be good. But the good news is everything works as it should, so uh, we can call this one done. And by done, I mean that should be pretty much everything that I need to do to this dial aside from I'm gonna get a tire for this side again because I don't like the dry rot, but. Everything else is pretty much good to go. This thing is looking mint. And uh, yeah, it should be serving us really well over the upcoming years. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button for me. If you didn't enjoy the dollar stuff, I'm sorry, but I did want to document it, so uh, bear with me. But yeah, I will catch y'all in the next one. Remember, respect all bills. Peace out.